Hello and welcome everyone, this is Darklord again with another Lots of Fallen video. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can easily defeat the Crimson Raptor Percival. And for that, basically, we have to reach at that castle. There is a fight going on outside, so you just ignore it, just run past it. You don't have to worry about it. Once you enter the arena, the boss would be here. Now, the interesting thing is, like, we are not going to parry his attacks. Instead, we are going to exploit his weakness. So now just let's get into the arena and face the boss. Once you enter into the arena, boss is on the right side. He is all charging up opening up his radiant magic and he would use everything against you so the main thing is like you have to take out this magic and to do that you have to basically take out your umbrella lamp and take out these parasites if you can see the alternative is you can fight this boss even in the umbrella world but i would suggest not to do that uh, just open up your lamp and take down this one of the umbrella parasite at a time and you, you can see like once we have taken down the parasite he loses his magic and now you can hit him uh, easily now he, he is just a normal um, uh, boss fight so you, you don't have to worry about the magic and the mimics he summons now that the main thing is like you have to be careful because these parasites are limited maybe five or six and you have to use these parasites very wisely because once they are depleted they are not going to come again and obviously then you are left with the parry option and maybe some other uh, options which are not very easy to do anyways now um let's see i'm not more focused on um doing these dodges and all this stuff because the main thing is like i mean you guys can do better than me uh, i think uh, the main thing is like i'm more focused on making a video and exploiting uh, his weakness rather than uh, focused on dodging and all this stuff so i think um this should not be a difficult fight at all now he has put up his magic so just let's take down this one again and I think I'm just left with one more maybe you can see like these are very limited so we have to be very careful about it so this there is one more so just take out you can see like his magic is done so that's how now I mean I don't have any more parasites left so I will have to deal him some damage uh, without these parasites now so I, I hope that I would be able to do it but let's see so th this is what I'm talking about. I mean, you have to be careful while um, he is. Or alternatively, I mean, you can also use these parasites once he is uh, charging up and he uses some magic. Oh my goodness. <laughs> that was not expected i thought that he is healing because like you can see like he heals up that's the thing um so once he starts healing oh there is one more so just let's take it down so you can see like once i took it down his uh that magic thing is gone now he cannot heal anymore so you can also use them while uh he is healing and just ignore the other phrases i mean it's all it's all up to you what you are up to and what you try to do but i mean you can see like I, i'm not even being careful Careful, but still then I, I've managed to give him a huge amount of damage now I don't have any more parasites so once he starts healing up the main thing is like and if you are done with the parasites then you have to throw some uh, ranged weapons at him just to give him some damage and just so that he, he loses his uh, magic thing now once again he has lost his magic and then we are going to give him some good hits now once again let's see is i have taken down a large chunk of his health now and again he is charging up to heal but no this this is not healing anyways so he is healing up now so just let's give him some charge attacks maybe yep and you can see like once you hit him with the charge attacks he loses his magic also so yeah i think i should not give him any further chance to heal up so let's take it down okay so we are done with the boss and once you are done with the boss you will be rewarded with the ring of brilliant protection crimson rector armor and vested seed now there is one more thing that's a chest over there at the end of the of, of this arena on the right side just take out this chest there is also a weapon inside called bloodless so just make sure that you are going to take it just let me pick this one up i don't think there is something inside it but still no there is something <laughs> i don't know anyways so okay so there is this chest over here just let's take out the chest and take the loot and you can see like bloodlust it's a weapon i think a sword or something anyways now there's nothing here so we are going on the right side you can see there is a small lobby uh, which in which there is an elevator now this elevator takes you to the sky rest well that's it for the video i hope you like the video if you do please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to watch more lots of related content thank you for watching and have a very nice day